Hi, welcome to the Times Herald Record Craft Do It Yourself video. I'm Amy Berkowitz, Craft and Hobbies page columnist, and today I'm going to show you how to make a bottle cap necklace, magnet, or keychain using buttons, glue, and of course, bottle caps. What you can do is buy them at the local craft store, and they come painted already in turquoise, pink, regular silver, and black. These are the magnets that you can make. They already have magnets on the back. And if you wanted to make a pin, they can showcase a really pretty picture inside with the pin already attached to the bottle cap. Now, what you can do, I'm going to show you how to make this one, which is a Coca-Cola bottle. It's actually a button. And it, the bottle caps, um, depending on the package that you get, come with stickers that actually are the right size for the bottle cap. So what I'm going to do is put in, show you, what I'm going to do first is show you how to prepare this particular bottle cap pendant. So I'm going to choose, I think, a pink one because I like pink. And I'm going to put in the sticker that is already in here. It actually doesn't have an adhesive back, but it, it is a cardboard cutout. And it fits right in here perfectly. Now, what I'd like to do is take the little bottle button first. Now these come in packs and they go according to theme. So there's animal buttons and there's uh, soda buttons and there's, you know, um, fashion buttons. Anything that you'd like to find, they're about two dollars a pack and they have about 12 of them in there. So what you're going to need is a button shank remover. And you can get this at any fabric store. And you just slide the shank, which is where the button is sewn, into the, the plier. And you just squeeze on it, and it will pop. And that's when it's ready to come right off. You just give it a twist. The first step to actually making a bottle cap uh, pendant is to put the bail in. You want to be able to put this little loop and it can be a split ring or an actual bale that you buy in the craft store. You want to put this in first because you don't want the glue to close up the hole that's in the bottle cap. And see, you can always use regular bottle caps in, uh, you know, off of your soda or your beverage. But the nice thing about the craft bottle caps is that they already come with pre-drilled holes. They're not only in nice colors, but the holes allow you to put these bales in or put two split rings in so that you can link them for a bracelet or you can uh, you know, make a pin or whatever you'd like. So the first thing to do is to put that pendant holder in, which is the bale. Now you can add from here, what I like to do is take an earring finding and this, this, this is actually something that could be an earring. But what I've done here is I've decided that I'd like to attach it to the cap. So it just makes it a little fancier. So I'm going to take my plier again. I can open this part up a little bit and put in, in the loop, this little earring holder. and close it up again so that you have this nice little filigree and it looks like something special. Then you would put in the cardboard that I showed you that comes just like this and you just pop it out and it's the correct size and all you have to do is just pop it in. You don't even have to glue it because the sealer that you're going to use, which I like either glossy accents or paper glaze, you can get them in the scrapbooking section of any craft store. And uh, that's the, the easiest thing to do is to put in the item. You don't have to worry about being glued down because once the sealer gets put into the bottle cap right here, once the sealer gets put into the bottle cap, it will seal this down and it won't come out. So you can start by putting in a little bit of the glossy accents or the paper glaze and 
I already took the shank off the button and I'm just going to center this right in here. So the trick to this is really to start from the outer part and go in. Now if you don't want uh, the Coca-Cola bottle to look like it's under glass, then you're going to leave that blank. You're not going to glue over it. You're just going to glue around it. So you start like this and go around the whole bottle cap. And you're going to fill it to where the fluted edge starts. So it's like halfway up where the flu fluted edge is. That way it gets covered pretty well and everything's kind of sealed in there. And you want to put a little bit maybe on top and on the bottom of the Coke bottle so it doesn't slip inside. Now here you can still manipulate the item because it's not sealed in yet so if it's not in the right center part you can push it a little bit and you're going to want to look at it to make sure it's pretty even. So I see that this side of it I need a little bit more. Now it's going to look milky in the beginning the reason why you know it's dry is because it's completely translucent, just like this one. So this one is clear, but it doesn't start out that way. It starts out kind of milky looking. And with the black cap, it's always going to look just a little bit on the milky side. If you leave it overnight to dry, it should be good to go. So I'm going to take some of these beads, though, to finish off my Coke bottle. I want to take the beads and just sprinkle them in there because you want it to look like bubbles coming up, like an effervescent type of thing. And just like collage, you're going to want to sprinkle things in. The, the thing that you want to pop out the most, you're going to put in last. So you want these to kind of pop out a little bit. Then you're going to put this in last. Now, the last step to doing this is to get the bubbles out. Of course, we added bubbles into this one because that's just to make it fancy. But we want to make sure that there's no bubbles in the actual sealant. So you're going to take a straw and so you just want to blow it gently. The main thing is you want no big bubbles in there because it will make it look like there's an empty space in the end. It'll look like a mistake. So that's something that you want to be sure is that uh, even though you might have a very small bubble here and there, that you don't have a large bubble. Okay, so this will be good to go in about, I would say, eight hours. Um, you're going to want to let it dry and once it's completely clear, you'll know that you can wear it. Okay. So we're going to set this one aside. Um, some other ones that we've done here. This one, I'm going to show you how to do this one, is a butterfly. And if you, rec if you go to parties a lot and you see these little decorations on tables, that's all this is, is a little butterfly that, you know, confetti that you put on a table. I like to fold it in first. so that it looks like it's sort of flying like that. And I'm going to take this one. I'm going to uh, put in a bale first again. And you do this, of course, again, like I said before, before you glue anything, because you want this to be able to be used as a piece of jewelry. So this is the first step always. And now I'm just going to put in a few of the uh, the shells and things like that that I like. And I just want to look, make it look like he landed in some way. So I'm going to take some uh, beads and drop them in. I'm just going to put some beads in here, kind of put them around in different spots, just so it looks like he landed somewhere maybe some place on the sand or, you know, near a, near a tree or something. 
It just looks like it's got some background to it. I think I'll throw in now a little bit of the glue so that it stays put. So these will be the first layer. And then I'm going to put in a couple more shells. And you want it to be even, so just give it a little shake there so that you can get the sealant even. Now the last thing I want to add, um, now you could put in, like I say, sequins or anything that you have in the house, but I'm going to add that butterfly on there because I want him to look as if he's just had a landing. So the easiest thing to do is to center it right here after you've folded it and just stick it right in there. You're going to want one of his wings to be immersed in the glue a little bit more than the other. That way it stays. And voila! You have a beautiful butterfly who's landed on some shells and some beads and things. And what's going to happen now is you're going to make sure it stays flat overnight. And when it's completely clear, it's going to be ready to go. You have a nice little conversation piece and you can wear it around your neck like this. I love mine so I wear it a lot and people will come up to me and say, oh what is that? They think it's just a necklace and it's actually a beautiful piece of recycled jewelry and it costs you maybe about three dollars to make. So this is a great back to school project. You can make little gifts for stocking stuffers towards Christmas and uh, for a guy, the best thing to do, I think, is to make something with sports. What I did here is I put a soccer ball in there. Um, this is not yet dry yet, so we put uh, some of the netting there, so it looks like he got a goal. And some of these uh, bottle cap packages, some of the bottle cap packages also come with keychains. So you could make this into a keychain and it's definitely much more masculine than say uh, my shoe one. But you know, everybody's got a preference. Mine is shoes so I'll take this one over the soccer one any day. But this is uh, something to consider when you're making stocking stuffers or when you're uh, going back to school and you need to uh, make something different for an outfit. This is the best way to do it, is to do recyclables. Thanks for following along with me on this video. As always, the Craft and Hobby page appears every Thursday in the Times Herald Record. So if you need more detailed instruction on this craft, purchase the Times Herald Record Thursday paper or visit me on www.recordonline.com.